Do you remember this? We all used to wear masks during the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. This made me curious about how we fall sick and what makes us feel better. Let's learn about my GT project. If you've been to the doctor's office before, you've probably gotten a vaccine. From a flu shot to a COVID shot, vaccines are everywhere and they all do the same thing. Prepare your immune system to kill harmful foreign substances. But how? Well, a vaccine is injecting a substance into your body. No, not a helpful antibody, which is a protein, but an antigen. It does this so it can test your immune system by preparing it to fight antigens it may encounter later. But have you ever wondered where vaccines come from and how they affect the body? Well, all vaccines go through clinical trials, which are a number of phases studied over a period of time. Many people who are living with a disease or medical condition hope that new treatments may deliver better health and an improved quality of life. After years of research and laboratory testing, a promising treatment may be further developed and in time studied in a clinical trial, where its effects on the human body are carefully monitored. Clinical trial research answers important questions about the treatment, including, is it safe? Does it work? And does it have any side effects? To answer these questions, research takes place in phases over a number of years. In some trials, participants are divided into different treatment groups in a random order. This allows doctors to assess how the study treatment compares to existing treatment options. Or in certain trials, a placebo, which is an imitation treatment with no medicinal effect. Sometimes receiving a treatment, even if it doesn't contain an active ingredient, can have a positive health benefit known as the placebo effect. Including a placebo group ensures the effects of the study of treatment can be accurately measured. Participants or even the doctor may not know which treatment each participant is receiving. This ensures those involved are not biased or influenced by expectations. To help me gather information, I visited this company called Icon in Sugarland, Texas that conducts clinical trials. I learned a lot about the process, but we couldn't see actual trial data due to confidentiality. Now I will show you my trifle called Story of a Vaccine. First, I will be telling you about immunity. I explored the difference between antigens, which are small amounts of weak dead germs, including viruses, bad bacteria, and protozoa, versus antibodies, which is protein used by the immune system to catch antigens. But what happens if antibodies can't take on the challenge? That's where vaccines step in. They save and improve lives by kickstarting the immune system and making it stronger. Vaccines use part of the virus or bacteria, a dead virus or a live in the weak phases of clinical traps. All vaccines start off at phase zero. This involves a small number of people and it checks what the drug does to the body. Then the vaccine moves on to phase one. It's tested on a larger amount of people around 10 to 15 and it's to check to see if there are any undesirable side effects. Then the vaccine moves on to phase two. Hundreds of participants are recruited, the age range is expanded, and they're further evaluating safety. If the vaccine passes as satisfactory, it moves on to phase three. Several thousand testers are recruited and it compares the safety of the study treatment to others. If it gets FDA approval, it moves on to phase four. It's the largest group of participants. It can last for several years. Famous scientists. Edward Jenner created the first vaccine. It was for smallpox. Grace Elderling and Pearl Kendra created the first whooping cough vaccine. And lastly, Maurice Hillman helped make nine of the 14 childhood vaccines. You may have heard me say FDA before. The FDA is the Food and Drug Administration. It is the governing body for all clinical trials. Here are some of the references I used. I also created a fun book. You can scan this QR code for the digital copy. It's a comic and it's really fun and it explains all that I've learned. 
Thank you for listening.